Hi, welcome to this episode of Violin Studio with Sharon. Today we are going to look at London Bridge is Falling Down, number 70, from String Theatre Book 1 for Violin. I will put the link below in the description box for your reference. Now, how do we tackle a new piece? Again, if you're looking for strategies, please refer to the previous episode. I have shared quite a lot of uh, violin practice tips and uh, you will find those tips really useful in terms of learning new songs. Now, I would highly suggest before playing this song to take a moment, do some mental practice, analyze the notes. First thing I will look at, notes that are on the A string and notes that are on the D string. If you can quickly identify them, it will become much easier knowing where to place your finger. Now, for example, if I just look at the first two measures, and again, this is breaking the entire line into smaller units, smaller chunks, so it's more manageable. Looking at the first three notes, I know ABA is on the A string, GFG on the D string. There, I already have two smaller chunks. So just looking at that, let's just focus on the first three notes. I want to prepare my first finger as the guiding finger, making sure that it's in place. And the next three notes, I'm going to use the first finger as the guiding finger to find my two and three. Now I'm going to then focus on string crossing. Let's try one more time. I have three notes on A, three notes on D, then going back to A. Stop, cross. Stop your hand and cross to the new string. If you want clarification on proper way to do string crossing, please also go back to previous episodes um, there's one on drawing the bow on the string and string crossing. Key elements here. It's important for us to stop the bow hand completely on the end of the old string before crossing to the new string. Now let's try to put the notes back. Now we're going to look at the next two measures. Now if you look at every two measures at a time, instead of looking at the whole line and get all overwhelmed, it actually does not take that long for you to learn the entire piece. So looking at smaller units and focus on smaller units, repeating them and upgrading all the different elements. It could be preparing your hand frame, finding your guiding fingers, listen to the right pitch, drop and lift up the finger, um, focusing that the action initiates from the bass knuckle, or drawing the bow, string crossing, using the right part of the bow. We want to just focus for now using the middle one, third bow. Now let's play along. If you're looking for more similar exercise on note changing and string crossing, you can take a look at number 67. I hope these are useful tips to help you have more enjoyable and more effective practice session. So enjoy your practicing. I will see you next time.